Martin, thank you very much for the invitation here to this uh, new academy. This is the first... You're welcome, as always, Paul. You know, you're, you're, you're the first one, you're my favourite. Absolutely, superb. Tell us about the opening and, what, and, what, and, why, and why this is happening. Uh, well, this is the first technical academy we're opening, so this is the launch event today. Uh, this is one of 15 that we're going to be opening up and down the country. Um, and yeah, so it's like, I want to know why you've gone down this path. Well, it serves lots of purposes. So first of all, we're using it as a showroom demonstration facility. So it gives uh, local companies access to the latest, latest technology, latest equipment, uh, so they can come in and kick the tires, so to speak. Um, but also we're using it as a, our, our own training facility as well for customers that have purchased machines. We'll, they'll be trained uh, in their local technical academy and also supported by Incom with the, apprentice, the, with the apprentices. So there'll be apprentices coming through here being taught on the latest technology as well. Gareth, always good to see a friendly face. You yeah, crop up at all these academy launches and there's a good reason for that. Yeah. Tell us about Incom. Yeah, so Incom obviously is an engineering training, uh, training manufacturing provider. And um, as you can see today here at Norton, we're opening the first of a series of technical academies. So there's going to be 14 overall. Some are going to be providing apprenticeships, technical, and a showcase and a showroom obviously for ETG, so the synergy. So Incom's input into this is to bring yeah. apprentices to these types of academies? Yeah, it's going to be apprentices, upskilling existing workforces, but look at other things as well, so applications, engineering. So we're looking at robotics. People want to come in through Industry 4 now and experiment on processes, automation. They could come and have a play before they then put it into their facilities. Stuart, this really is a fantastic place that you've got here. Tell us a little bit about the background. I mean, 2008 was quite a poignant year. Yeah, yeah, well, we brought the brand back from America, um, back into Britain, and, and the kind of person who pledged to make British motorbikes again which sounded easy at the time, easy to say, bloody difficult to do. So uh, we're now nine years on, um, but we've done it. We're here making hand-built British bikes and, you know, success around the world. We're 80% export. Um, but one of the things that we missed was a British supply chain and getting the skill set into that supply chain and, and here at Norton so that we could manufacture some of our own components as well as doing the production of other people's components. And, and we didn't realise how difficult that journey was going to be. But we, we've, we've kind of stayed true to that and just stuck at it and developed the supply chain and educated the supply chain whilst developing our own and now uh, we can do 83% British components now on, on, on our motorcycle so we're very proud of that. Tom thanks for giving us a few seconds of your time today what, what does what do you think this means for the industry this this academy and more academies coming? Oh, it's extremely important I mean the the, the skill level in the UK as really low. So would you would you embrace this? Would you send uh, get apprentices and bring them here, or would you upskill your staff? Yeah, yeah, certainly. Yeah, obviously, from where we are in Huddersfield, West Yorkshire, you know, we, we would prefer an academy a lot closer to us. But but yeah, that it's it's essential that we upskill all our staff. Yeah. The, the great thing is, we come in here, and this you wouldn't know this is any different to Wellsbourne. Was that your plan? Yeah, well, that, that's the idea. You know, we want that uh, common theme up and down the up and down the country. So whatever technical academy you go into you'll see the same sort of layout and function. Is this Martins Oil and ETG putting something back into the industry as well with there being skill shortages? Yes yeah, so it certainly is you know we're, we're, we're a fast moving company agile enough to be able to do something like this and we've got the desire to walk the walk and instead of just talking the talk which everyone else does. And is it fair to say that your mix of machine tools allows you to do that? You can bring engineers in you know, with a very basic understanding of machinery up to people that, that want to go for full-blown production on multi-axis machines. Yeah, we're, cover we're covering all bases here. So we've got the, the, the Chirons, the Quasars, Nakamuras, Hardinge Bridgeports, you know, there's something for everyone here. As an investment for ETG, what is that investment for you now at this academy and the others as you go forward? Okay, well, so for us uh, as a company, ETG, we're upwards of uh, three quarters of a million pounds worth of equipment in this facility. Um, if you add that to the technical partners, um, what they've put into, into the facility as well, you're upwards of a, a million pounds. So with the ETG partnership as well, you've got the applications engineering, the training, and the test piece, and then be able to go live inside your facility. With all your experience in this and you, you talking about apprentices and training, I'm assuming that means that you know how to operate one of these, is it? Uh, 
What, what's one of them? <laughs> we'll press cycle start and get it going. Thank you very much, Gareth. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thanks for your time. Cheers, Paul. Thanks, mate. <laughs>